Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Lauriette. Welcome. I hope you enjoy it here and decide to stick around. Today's video is one that I've made every year since becoming a mom and it's what I put in my kids Easter basket. I started this when Josiah was a baby and if memory serves me correctly, Josiah would have only been a month, maybe a month and a half old at his very first Easter. Last year was my first year sharing two Easter baskets because it was Ariella's first Easter. She was like eight months old at her first Easter. So this year I have a three year old and a one and a half year old. So I'm sharing toddler Easter baskets with you guys. And I apologize for this video's like lateness as it was supposed to be up last week but I got really really sick so I know we're a little close to Easter we've got a little bit of time but I will say that everything that I've picked out for my kids Easter basket either from Amazon so you've got prime two-day shipping or Target you can do shopping on the app and just drive up pickup makes it super easy I also apologize if I sound a little bit nasal in this video I am still recovering apparently I have tonsillitis so that is a thing that I'm working through. I'm gonna start with Josiah, my three-year-old's basket. So this is the basket. He's had this basket since the beginning of time, essentially. He's had it for all of his Easters. Um, this is from Pottery Barn. It is their seagrass basket. The reason I like this basket over some of their other baskets is because the handle is collapsible. So the handle sits back like this and I like that because it just makes it easier to store when it's not Easter. All the ones with fixed handles are super pretty and I like the way they look but then when you go to put them away like they're just stuck like that and I find it easier to damage them, harder to store them so I like this one because of that. This is the large size um, and I think that it just it holds the perfect amount of stuff. I mean if you're only gonna put like candy and little things like that in your kids Easter basket then I would suggest going with the small Pottery Barn basket because this one does have a lot of space to fill but if you're somebody who puts like you know wooden toys and like things like that I, I recommend the large one. And then this is just the Pottery Barn liners that they sell and I just had it personalized with his name on it and it's the little one with the little cottontail. If you've seen any of these videos where I put together baskets for my kids, whether that be an Easter basket, a Christmas kickoff basket, a Valentine's Day thing, um, I pretty much have a formula that I follow that makes shopping for these a lot easier. And that's what I like to do a book. It's usually a themed book, so whatever the holiday is or the reason for the basket is. Something educational, something fun, something you can wear, something that you can eat, and then something that's practical that you need or just that would make your life as a parent of this child easier. Starting off with the book, I did construction site Spring Delight. My son is a fan of the construction site books. We've got, you know, Goodnight Construction Site or whatever. I think we've got the Christmas version of this he got one year in his Christmas kickoff basket that he really really likes so, so I figured I'd get him like the spring Easter one his something educational is still pretty fun this is a Montessori style toy it is like a go fish kind of thing so it has two little um, wooden dowel fishing rods that have magnets at the bottom of them and then all of the fish are here with magnets and what I liked about these fishes are the fishes are different colors and all of the fishes have letters on one side. So one side looks like a fish and is like green and then the other side has a letter painted onto it. So at three, my son is already very good with colors, but if you have a younger child that you're working on colors with, this could be a good way to go about it because you can say catch a blue fish, catch a red fish. So it came with these little cards that have some kind of more simple words. You've got cow, cake, um, whore. So you can put the card in front of them and tell them to catch all the letters to spell the word. I like that there's two fishing rods because I have two toddlers and then this way they can both play together. So they will both get some use out of this. Okay, something fun is a T-Rex bubble blower. So it comes with a little bubble solution and then we have plenty of bubble solution. We're always using bubble solution in the spring and summer around here. So I don't know how long this will work but I like that it's not battery operated because I feel like you have less chances of it breaking. He got a really cool battery operated one one year and then we left it outside we forgot it and like it rained and that's it it was destroyed so I like that I don't have to worry about that with this one it seems to just be like crank powered and this thing was like four or five dollars at Target in like the dollar spot section then this is a something to wear which will actually be his Easter day outfit I hope these pants fit him um they are a 3t from the cat and jack line it's the only size that they had at my Target the, the kids clothing section at my Target has been so bad lately it's so picked over um there's just not a lot to choose from and then I can never find the sizes that I need but um my 
my son is three but he is on the petite side so he still really fits in 2t and I bought him a pair of 2t cat and jack jeans the other day and they were huge on him like lengthwise <laughs> they were so long and I had to like lift them all the way up his little skinny waist these have a little adjustable band on the inside so hopefully if I make them like the smallest they can be they'll fit his waist and maybe I'll just have to like cuff up the bottoms for him this is actually a shirt from Amazon um and it's just a little kind of chambray button down for him this practical gift is a new to-go water bottle um, this is from the simple modern line it's the 14 ounce one it's got little dinosaurs on it super cute we needed water bottles to go because i always find myself bringing our cups to go like the sippy cups that we have in the house and then they get forgotten or they get loved and they're just not as durable and so I wanted him to have a cup specifically to go because we did that at Christmas time I got them personalized like Christmas to go cups for all of like the things we would be doing out and it actually worked wonderful like those were the to go cups we didn't use them in the house we used them out and it kept all the other cups in the house where they were supposed to be and it was a good system so I got a new one for him for that and then lastly the snacks or the to eat category we've got some animal crackers which are a favorite of Josiah's two Reese's eggs and then just these little Reese's pieces all right so now for Ariella's basket actually funny story I went upstairs in the attic to get the kids Easter baskets and I was walking around in there for like way too long because I found Josiah's right away and then I found this basket and I was like but where's Ariella's basket that matches Josiah's I know I bought her one last year and I couldn't find it couldn't find it and the reason I couldn't find it is because it does not exist I had to go back and watch last year's Easter video to realize that this is the basket I used for her last year because when I went to go order her matching basket it was actually sold out and then when they were going to get them back in stock would have been after Easter so I was like I'll worry about it next year totally forgot about it so I just went on Pottery Barn's website like yesterday and ordered her a basket to match Josiah's so the large seagrass one and the liner to match his as well so hers is going to be purple king him with a little bunny on it and have her name on it um so I'm excited because this stuff is like bursting out of this basket so it'll fit more nicely in that basket but all her goodies will be the same so her book is Happy Easter Mouse um this is from the If You Give a Mouse a Cookie series she likes this one she got the Valentine's Day book um back in February so this is kind of just rounded out her collection for her educational but still fun toy I got her this um, shapes puzzle um, Josiah actually really loves puzzles he's really good at this I'm sure he'll help her figure it out but this puzzle is perfect for her because it has the little you know knobs here for her to like hold it more easily and they're bigger pieces so she'll be able to kind of work her way through this her fun gift is the same as Josiah so he got the t-rex bubble blower and she got a little unicorn one or something to wear is her little Easter dress so it's just this little ivory dress it's got a little tie in the back I just thought this was really really sweet simple nothing too crazy I didn't want to do anything like big and frilly and uncomfortable I wanted something that she'd be able to be comfortable in wearing throughout the day because we you know make different stops to see family and stuff like that her practical gift is also a simple modern to go water bottle um this is also the 14 ounce I love like the retro stripes I just thought this was so cute and then she also got the same snacks animal crackers Reese's pieces and Reese's eggs so that's everything that'll be in my toddler's Easter baskets this year I'm telling you the book something educational something fun something to wear something practical something to eat that formula works so well for putting these baskets together for kids of all ages so really utilize that when putting together your kids Easter baskets and like I said everything that I showed you in this video super easy to get your hands on target online order drive up pickup and Amazon two-day shipping could not be easier for busy parents if you guys enjoyed this video if you did you can leave it a little thumbs up it really helps out my channel you can leave me any questions or comments down below I'd love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one bye